According to the workers who escaped, after the terrorists infiltrated the National Archives through the loading gate on basement level one and destroyed the automatic security system, they took all of the employees in the facility hostage. They've gained control of the first floor lobby as well as the library floors one through three. Have there been any statements or demands from the criminals? Not at the present time. However, they seem to be looking for the H88 report. The H88 report? The one that conducted an investigation of General Michiba, the mastermind of the failed Far North Rebellion 20 years ago? Yes, sir. Its designation as a state secret has been lifted, and it was transported here to the National Archives from the National Police Agency to prepare it for public release. Major. Go ahead and have command authority for the investigation transferred to Section 9. Everyone's been waiting for that document to be released, but for an armed terrorist group to attack, it makes me awfully suspicious. Maybe they're conspiracy theorists who want the truth about what happened 20 years ago. They would risk their own lives for it? Not likely. If you consider the social impact that the H-88 report will have, as well as the timing of the attack, it looks like the perp is running scared over the possibility of that document being released. We'll decide on a signal for when I want to give you an order. Is that all right with you?
lives underground. You've done a good job so far, but the hard part is up ahead. So stick close and whatever you do, don't fall behind. Did you learn anything? Looks as though they were digging through papers all throughout the archives. I throw the investigation into chaos? I won't say that's not a possibility, but the all-important H88 report was left lying there, looking like they read through it in a hurry. If the enemy isn't after the report, what are they after? Either way, our only option right now is to dig through this guy's brain. Gee, I finally got an ID on the terrorists. These guys are ex-military. They're still running around with their unit ID codes left in their cyber brains. However, I came across traces of evidence indicating that their memories have been overwritten just prior to the assault. So, someone cast a spell over them, huh? 
If they're merely puppets, that means someone has to be hiding behind the curtain pulling the strings. Now we need to get those things done. At any rate, get back there. Roger. Uh, do you think it would be all right if I hooked up to the National Archives database now? You've created quite a mess. The media is looking at this from the historical conspiracy perspective, saying that this was an operation cooked up by the government or some military faction to conceal military secrets from 20 years ago. But the public is used to having information concealed from them, so while they may feign righteous indignation right now, they'll forget about it as their daily lives offer more pressing concerns. That doesn't sound like something that the chief of the public security general affairs Better Tartar Bay in five minutes. Should we land this plane at the Atorafu Support Police's heliport? No, land at the civilian airfield. We're using. An unknown terrorist group has attacked the national. documents are sleeping right beneath our feet. 